In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about adding background music to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. How to import the music, where to find the music in the first place, how to change the volume, how to fade it in and out, how to change the duration and much more. So hope you're going to find this video valuable and let's get right into it. Hey everyone, if you're new to the channel, my name is Vince and first of all, let's start with where to actually find background music for your YouTube videos or even your client projects. Well, the truth is you cannot just be using any random copyrighted music in your videos because unfortunately you'll get into troubles with that so what you want is you want some sort of a royalty free music solution for your videos and even your client projects right i personally have been using epidemic sound for around five years at this point so i can highly recommend them and they were also kind enough to sponsor this video so you know but that aside i actually used their service for a long time before i ever even got sponsored by them and i can highly recommend it for you the cool thing about epidemic sound is you basically just have to pay a small flat uh, monthly fee for their service and you are going to get access to thousands and thousands of high quality songs that you can use in your videos and also they have a bunch of sound effects as well for your uh, project so if you want to get epidemic sound make sure to click the link in the description below to get a free 30-day trial and on top of that epidemic is giving you guys an additional two months for 50 percent off all you have to do is click the link in the description and use vince50 at checkout so basically i'm going to use epidemic in um, this example so this is kind of how their you know software or website looks here all the songs are categorized into amazing like playlists and themes uh and yeah you can see even here if we go down to browse uh we are going to be able to find a bunch of different genres moods uh themes so Basically, whatever kind of vibe you are going for in your video, I'm pretty sure you're going to find exactly the right music to fit it. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to use this song. I quite liked it. And uh, if you want to download it, you know, you can just click here and uh, then it's going to download as an MP3 to your computer. They also have this cool feature called Stem Downloads, where you can download just a certain part of that song. And this is available for most of their songs. I could even just download just the melody, the instruments, the bass, or the drums. Um, so that is pretty cool because it allows me even more creative freedom in the editing process. But once you have your song, you want to go back into Premiere Pro and just drag and drop it here into your, your media library, right? And if your Premiere Pro doesn't look exactly like this, then you can just always come here to the editing workspace and, you know, it will look like how it looks for me right now. As you can see, I already have on my timeline the video that I want to add the background music to. So the next step uh, to import your background music into your actual sequence and your project is to simply drag and drop it onto one of your audio tracks. Now. If you don't have enough audio tracks to put your background music to, you can always just right click here, click on add tracks. And then here you want to put zero video tracks because we are only trying to add an audio track for now. And then you can put in however many audio tracks you want to add. And then you click OK and you can see now it added an audio track four as well. But in this case, I'm just going to leave my background music on audio track two. After this, what I like to do first is I like to make this audio track uh, too bigger. So I expand it so I can clearly see how the music you know, looks here. And you can lower the volume of your audio in two ways. Number one, you can either drag uh, this white line down. And as you can see now, it's uh, pulling down the decibel number as well. So for example, now it's at 22.9. Or the other way to do it is to simply come here to effect controls and set the level right here. That is kind of how uh, I like to keep my audio. Usually I keep my audio level somewhere around the minus 30 decibels. But obviously it's also going to depend on, well, first of all, how loud the audio is in the first place and how loud your voice is in the video. You generally want to make sure, in my opinion, that your background audio or your background music is rather quiet because I think it can be super distracting if uh, for the viewer, you know, if the background audio is messing with your voice and they can barely hear what you're saying. After this, uh, one thing I like to do is I like to make sure that my song uh, matches 
the length of my video. If I have a really long video, like a long talking head around, you know, 10 minutes or so, I will probably use like three different songs or four different songs. So it's not just the same song looping over and over in the background. But in this case, you can see it's just like a little too short, uh, this audio. Here's a really cool tool inside of Premiere Pro that I can use now to make sure that my uh, song actually matches the length of my video. First one to come here to where it says ripple edit tool You want to long click on it and then come here to the remix tool and now with this I can click on my audio uh, my background audio track I can make it longer so it matches the the length of my video and you can see it basically is now uh, analyzing my clip and it made it just a little bit longer by adding an extra cut here so it matches the same length as my video. I think um, this is an amazing feature. It uses AI technology to actually analyze your song and uh, to make cuts to it, to make it the exact length you want to. You can make an audio longer or even shorter with this technique. Now, the next thing I like to do with my background audio is to fade the beginning and the end of it so it doesn't come off harsh. To do that, I like to come here to the effects tab, come here to audio transitions, come here to crossfade, and there is this uh, one called constant gain. You want to drag and drop that in the beginning and at the end of your audio. And here, once you zoom in a little bit more on your timeline, uh, if you want to, you can even make this transition a bit longer so it's even more subtle. All agree that at this point so I'm quite happy with that right now. But another thing I like to do sometimes is I like to add a little bit of a muffled sound effect to my background music in case there are a lot of like high pitched noises in the song because I think, you know, those can be quite distracting when you are talking over it. So to create that effect, if that's something you want to go for, you need to again uh, come here to the effects tab and then you want to uh, search for low pass. Okay. And then you want to drag and drop that here on your audio track. And here, if you come here to effect controls and to the low pass filter, you can actually adjust this cutoff uh, frequency. You will create like this nice muffled effect on your background music, which can, uh, I think can work really well sometimes. You know, it can sound weird if it's like the main music and you make it muffled, but if it's just background music and you add like a slight muffle to it, uh, then it can sound pretty good in my opinion. It's kind of like that underwater audio sound effect, right? So feel free to play around with the cutoff frequency. Um, you know, if you adjust that, you can make it less muffled or more muffled. So to sum everything up, number one, make sure you're getting your background music from somewhere that is not going to get your videos copyrighted and not going to get you in legal trouble, right? Number two, once you imported your music into your project, make sure that it's nice and quiet so it's not distracting for the viewers. Number three, make sure to fade in and out the beginning and the end so it doesn't come off harsh and super strong right from the get-go. And optionally, you can also add this cool muffled sound effect to it. So hope this video was helpful and valuable for you guys. If you want to sign up for Epidemic Sound, you can do that in the description below. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.